Well, hello there, and welcome back to Rainbow Investing, where we examine a spectrum of ideas to improve your long-term wealth. Now, tonight we are talking all things ARK Invest and ARK K. Kathy Wood has become one of the biggest names in investing over the last few years, and with good reason. Some of ARK's funds last year were some of the best performing funds in the entire stock market. Some of the performances of ARK funds are truly mind-boggling to watch. At least they were until 2021. So today we're going to be looking at who is Kathy Wood, who is ARK Invest, and what is all the fuss about when it comes to ARK ETFs. So who is ARK Invest? Well, as you can see here, ARK Invest runs ETFs that are focused on disruptive innovation. You can see here a complete list of ARK ETFs that are available for investing. But tonight we're going to be talking about ARK K, the ARK Innovation ETF, because that's really the flagship ETF of ARK Invest. But to understand ARK Invest, you first have to understand its founder and chief investment officer, Kathy Wood. So ARK was founded in 2014 by Kathy Wood, and she funded ARK purely on the idea of investing in disruptive innovation. As you can see here, she had this idea of starting ARK Invest, but had a few problems getting it going. But when she actually branched out on her own and started ARK Invest, that was back in 2014. So you can see here the name ARK Invest comes from the Ark of the Covenant from the Bible, reflecting the religiosity of Kathy Wood herself. And to get an idea into the kinds of trends that ARK invests in, you basically have to go no further than this. It's things like artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, fintech, DNA sequencing, robotics, and 3D printing, amongst many other things, by the way. So let's take a look at the RK ETF performance and see what all the fuss is about. So as you can see here, it's down 7.7% year to date, which is drastically underforming the S&P 500 index, the Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ. But what if we zoom out a little? Well, one year, you can see here, the picture becomes a little clearer. 72% performance over the last 12 months, even though this fund is currently down, let's see, 25% from its all-time high. That's pretty impressive when you think about it. And as you can imagine, interest in ARK really picked up over this period where all it seemed to do was just go up and up and up and up. But now that ARK has sort of leveled off a bit, the emperor's lost their clothes, people are really starting to re-examine ARK particularly. So let's have more of a look at what this particular ETF invests in. So as you can see here, the typical portfolio holdings for ARK K are 35 to 55 stocks. And most of them are selected from this range of sectors here. In the description, it says that ARK K is seeking long-term capital growth by investing in US listed securities, including ADRs, of companies focused on disruptive innovation. And ARK defines this disruptive innovation as the introduction of a technologically enabled product or service that potentially changes the way the world works. So as you can probably already tell, ARK is going to be an ETF that invests in very high growth stocks, very high octane growth stocks. This is not a conservative, long-term value investing type ETF. This is for investors who want to go hard and fast. So let's dig a little deeper into that. So the first thing to note is the ARK's performance. As you can see here, the performance is very impressive. 47.73% over the past three years compounded, 46.27% over the past five years compounded, and a pretty impressive 33.92% per annum since its inception. It has also managed a whopping 175.2% in just the past year alone. So where does ARK get all this performance from? Well, you can see here with its top 10 holdings. The first and largest stock in the portfolio by far is, of course, Tesla, with almost 10% of the entire ETF's weighting. Now, Kathy Wood is very famous for bullish calls on Tesla. She was out many years ago before the massive share price run that Tesla went on, saying how Tesla was going to change the world, how its stock price was going to $5,000. And she got a lot of credibility when a lot of her predictions actually played out. As we all know, Tesla went on an insane run over the last five years. Just look at that price gain. 2,000% between May 2019 and January 2021. Incredible performance. And Kathy Wood was really ahead of the curve then. Remember guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already joined our growing channel. Just love to have you on board. But what about some of Art K's other holdings? Well, as you can see here, some more significant holdings include Teladoc Health, Roku, Square, Zoom, Shopify, Spotify, Coinbase, Twilio and Unity Software. If you want a more comprehensive look into Art Case Holdings, here is a complete list. You can see other names like Palantir, Twitter, Tencent, DocuSign, and Nintendo even. So as you can tell, this is the kind of flavor of this ETF. These are the kind of stocks you'll be investing in if you invest in Art K. 
And really, these are the kind of shares that have been behind ARK's extremely impressive performance over the last few years. I mean, just look at Tesla over the last five years. Insane gains. Teladoc, very similar. Look at that. Roku, very similar. And Square, of course, has gone bananas over the last few years, particularly over the last year. But therein lies the problem for RK. Since many of its holdings are all within the same kind of sectors, the tech sector, electric vehicles, disruption, they all tend to move in the same sort of way. Because in the current market, growth stocks like Tesla, Roku, Square are usually tend to be either hot or either not at any one time. Therefore, the RK ETF is an extremely volatile ETF, as you can see in its performance. I mean, just look at where it's gone in the last year. Look at that, up and down. That's one of the main criticisms of the ARK ETF, and that's why it might not be suitable for all investors, particularly if you hate volatility. Even its Wikipedia page, as you can see here, lists this as a concern. Hot funds and thematic ETFs generally can't sustain their performance. So is ARK right for you? Perhaps, if you'd like a simple, easy ETF that really captures hot growth stocks all in one ETF, then ARK is probably a perfect investment, especially this ARK K fund. But if you hate volatility and don't really like growth investing, then then all the hype that, I, that you might have heard about ARK might just be that too hype and it might not be the best investment for you. That's basically how the ARK K ETF works. That's why people are so excited about ARK and Kathy Wood. And that's why you've probably been hearing a lot about ARK, Kathy Wood and their ETFs over the last few years particularly in the last year. All right, guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and make sure you subscribe. I'll be back with some more videos soon, but for now, good night.